Hello, everybody, and welcome to another awesome episode of Movie Guys Podcast. And since you've downloaded this episode, you know this is part two of our Dwayne The Rock Johnson series. Today, we're talking about all of The Rock's movies from Scorpion King to Doom. Uh, I, I don't know how we're going to do about this one, but Eric, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? I am doing pretty good. I mean, like, we're doing the entire thing, right? I mean, we're not just going to talk. I mean, you, you cut off at Doom, but he's doing like five movies a year now or something like that. Yeah. Like this guy is the yeah, hardest working man in Hollywood. He really is. He, he, that dude just works. That's all he does is work. I, yeah. I mean, sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. He's mm -hmm. getting paid. And obviously everyone uh, of his movies, no matter how critically uh, acclaimed or, or disclaimed they are, uh, they still make money. Like all of them yeah. make money. The rock gets people into theaters. That's yeah, really. I mean, and when he was a wrestler, he did the same thing. You know what I mean? Like people, people want to see him. It's just, I guess it's just his personality. It's who he is, what he does. Just a good guy. You know, yeah. I mean, he's not made like great movies, but you know, they're, we got a lot to talk about. Well, yeah, I guess which movies did you want to talk about? Well, <laughs> Well, I want to talk about Scorpion King right off the bat, right? I mean, well, no, actually, Mummy Returns, the sequel to the uh, Brendan Fraser Mummy, right? Uh, Rock was in that. I'm trying to think what his first uh, leading – do you know what his, his first leading role was at all? Because I'm looking up, and there's a lot of, like, all the one-offs, the, the TV shows and stuff like that. Here's the Mummy. He was a Scorpion King. So I guess that was the first major yeah. movie appearance. I guess, it's, yeah, oh, I, think, I guess it's the Scorpion King, uh, 2002, it looks like. Mm -hmm. yeah, Scorpion King was his first leading role, but he was tested for being the Scorpion King from Mummy Returns, and he, they thought he did so well that they wanted to give him his own movie, which I guess there was an audience for that, right? Because they spawned like five sequels for the Scorpion King. I didn't realize they also had video games with it, too. I mean, the shit that money makes, man. Like, It's a beautiful thing. And I guarantee you those things made millions of dollars of profit. I have no idea how much how much they actually made, but I can guarantee you they did. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, None no. of them lost money. No. Well, God. you know, I think the appeal to, to the, uh, the Rock really is his ability to have such range because he can do all of the stuff. Like, he's such a versatile character. And it, and it works when he also takes on the smaller roles. Like, um, I'll bring up Be Cool. You guys remember that movie with John Travolta, oh, yeah. the follow-up mm -hmm. of Get Shorty, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. he played like kind of the uh, the bodyguard that also wanted to be kind of a uh, well, he was also a little bit of a flamboyant showman, right? Yes. But like that's a perfect role because he plays like the big tough guy, and then he turns out that he's just he just wants to wear sequins. Yeah. See, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. it's, I mean, like you're definitely right on that because he was also in a small role that I thought it was his best role. And it was in Pain and Gain, and I thought that was really good. That was an odd movie, <laughs> but he was good in it. I don't think I don't think Rock back then or even now. I don't think Rock is a leading man. I think he's. I think he plays better as a supporting character. It's good well, with ensemble. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's the case. But like his movies have been better when he's not been the lead, I guess. But at the same time. If if people are buying tickets to go see his movies, why would he, why would he or anybody put him anywhere other than you know the lead? Well, because of situations like uh, Be Cool or uh, Pain and Gain, like you know those situations, I think I think that's the best thing. The other uh, guys is a, is a good one. Yeah, <laughs> Where they jump off the roof. Where they jump off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To uh, to Foo Fighters, there goes my hero. Right. I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But I, I see he's doing like a lot of these these uh, ensemble movies. So like a lot of it, whether it be Fast and Furious or GI Joe or uh, uh, what was the uh, um, another one that he's uh, oh I just had to look up here oh Journey or um, Journey to of the Earth or Jumanji. Yes. Yep. So mm -hmm. these movies that that really don't have it to where it's just one character where it's well uh, focused around a group of characters throughout the San Andreas, uh, you know, kind of. Things like that, but uh -huh. there are other movies. Again, I guess it would be like San Andreas or like uh, Rampage that we've been watching lately, uh, Skyscraper, where even though there are characters all around him that are big secondary characters, 
he is still the focus on that on those uh, in those movies. I mean, and he's the one that carries them. He's the one that gets the big the big scenes, the big lines, and the the big mm-hmm. action scenes and the jumps. And so that's just how it works. I, he's just got too much range for him to slow down. I would I would definitely agree with that. Definitely agree with that. But did we feel that same way when it came to Doom? A movie that I was like, so excited for because I really liked the first two Doom games. And Doom 3 came out, and it has changed the way for Doom, right? I'm not going to talk about the video game that often, but I was really excited. you know. And then this movie came out, and I was like, oh, well, well that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But when they, but when when he when they went like Super Saiyan and this you had this scene like when they was when it was in yeah the first game person. that was one of the most incredible fun scenes in any movie and oh, yeah. you know I, yeah, I mean it was just in like The Rock was just who he was in that movie you know what I mean like he's not he's just a badass tough guy he was playing a bad guy kind of in that one you know it's showing a little bit of range. That was before he's, you know, that was when he was still The Rock in movies. These were all like WWE movies, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, what? That wasn't? Doom was not a WWE movie. No. Absolutely really? not. Really? All right. Absolutely. Well, well, we got fact checked on that one. Oh, yeah. no. Well, trust me, it was not. <laughs> I mean, I just, uh, just, just blown away by it. Um, yeah. I mean, and then you had, uh, what, Carl Urban? Urban? Is, Carl is Urban, that- yeah. Mm-hmm. He was in that movie, and it's like, what are you doing? Like, ah, I mean, uh, The Rock. How well, about I, like, I like Carl Urban, man. He's just, you know, Judge Dredd, man. I like him. <laughs> Somebody that we all know made this comment, and this is so true, and we would all agree with it, I would assume. But um, my brother from a uh, uh, podcast made a comment a long time ago and said, what we are seeing is – uh, the Rock is our is well maybe not ours but this generation's um, Schwarzenegger Stallone right I mean that's what he is oh he's well way past that dude he's yeah. at, he's, he's on his own like are you well, sure well because yeah because these are guys that have built their fame off of a genre of a specific genre of a fight movie of action movies whereas The Rock is able to do everything he did the Tooth Fairy right is that yeah, he did the yeah. Tooth Fairy, but Schwarzenegger did Kindergarten Cop too, though. Yeah, you're you're very right. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I can understand where you're going with that, but I guess what I'm saying is that um, there's no way in hell that ne- either one of them were pumping out five movies a year. No, no, not like it is now. But I'm saying one, two, like, three, four, five. Yeah, he got five. Jesus, this guy's this guy just keeps on cranking them out, man. He does, doesn't he? What I'm saying is, back in the day, he was definitely, definitely a uh, Schwarzenegger. I mean, because because Schwarzenegger, the only thing, and, and I know this is sound gonna sound crazy. I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but the only thing good that that guy did is Predator and Terminator One and Two, and that's it, really. I mean, like uh, Commando sucked, you know, Kindergarten Cops sucked. He also did Twins, and then Junior. also Junior. What about the great Hollywood classic Jingle All the Way? Hey, that's God, a that, great that's, one. That's a good one. Or what's what's another good one? He, uh, Last Action Hero. That was fucking oh amazing. beautiful movie. Last yeah, he Action Hero. Yeah, he that was one. the that was the last original movie in Hollywood. But, well, uh, but then he also did Junior. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, so The Rock did that. Right? I mean, like, he Rock definitely, I mean, with his Tooth Fairy and his other small little movies, I mean, that's what The Rock has done. I mean, that's why I'm saying that the comparisons to The Rock and to Schwarzenegger is is very, very similar. It's definitely uh, history repeating itself, I would oh, argue. I would, I, and I would agree. I'm just saying that I think Rock's at a point where he is certainly surpassed it unless he wants to who knows 2020 if the rock wants to do president <laughs> we've, we've seen crazier things i it's mean have we the rock is supposed to be the rock and tom hanks right rock hanks yeah rock hank 
Look, here's what here's what I want to talk about. Though I want to talk about my absolute favorite thing that this dude has done and is still currently doing. Uh -huh. Ballers is one of the greatest shows on HBO. It's roof. fantastic. It's beautiful. They done so they do a great job with that show. It's it's and he does he does a great job with that character because that really that really is him. I mean, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Like he's a retired athlete ish who's making his way in the world. Ballers is fantastic. He's not trying to buy an NFL team in real life, but for you as get the big ball. a guy as he is, he he can fit into almost. A, a lot of roles, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. a lot of roles that he does play, very much like the curse of Ronald Schwarzenegger, uh, and and Professor Stallone is that you know, oh, I'm an ex marine, and oh, it's ex ex service, ex service. Yeah, yeah. So, it, I mean, you're gonna fit into a niche when that happens, like Neem, like Liam Neeson does. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. It works, but there's the thing is that you know they can do comedy too. Liam Neeson is. I don't know. I thought he was great in Ted too. <laughs> He'll always be Qui Gon Jinn to me. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. So now, my big question is with this: is is the is is <laughs> is the Rock really that good, or is he just another stupid Schwarzenegger? He doesn't have to be good, man. He's he's likable that's all it is he he can play the same character and he does for the most part the same character in almost every movie he plays the rock in every movie but he's likable people like the rock and it works man he doesn't have to be good he just has to be the rock yeah i mean when you see him in things like jumanji or uh, moana or baywatch he's he's showing like a different side but other than that like his 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 key is those action movies like we we just watched we just did skyscraper we did rampage we did you know the movies like that you know like that's his key but he's a li he has a little bit better range i think than, than the guys that have come before him that have sort of fallen in that same trap oh right? good point because i think it could be wrong does the rock deserve the golden microphone have we reviewed three rock movies Oh shit, have we? Oh yeah, we did. Skyscraper, Jumanji, and Rampage. Yeah. Yes, he gets a golden microphone. Wow, not many people get golden microphones. Yeah, we've also done Fast and Furious movies, and I'm sure a few yeah. other ones have, have snuck in there too. He's, he's going to go double golden microphone. Watch the oh, that's Rock. We know you're a big fan of the show. I'll make sure to send you that spray painted golden microphone to you. <laughs> I, I hope he's listening. I, whoops. I Not a problem. Listening. And I, uh, yeah, oh, I hope he gets that. And, I don't know. He's, he seems to be active on Reddit. I wonder if he, he would just jump in and over. But yeah, okay, guys. Well, <laughs> now, another question, though, is besides, well, I mean, not just besides, but has there been, oh, here we go. Okay, best way to ask this. We'll go with one by one. Eric, what is your top three worst rock movies he's ever made? Dude, I, I mean, you can't say worst movies i mean it's it's just like I, I can't i can't i can't do that i mean i okay because i haven't seen all of them i wasn't a fan of uh of scorpion king but that doesn't mean that he's bad in it. i was a fan of race to which mountain but again like sometimes it's just a bad movie I, this is a guy again who is is able to kind of still play this this kind of um, the savior character, and it just works no matter how bad the movie is, man. I mean, he still does a good job. Like that's just the likability of Dwayne Johnson, man. Like just to say that he's in a bad movie is, is to to say that uh, yeah, give me your worst Tom Hanks movies because even if you were to give me the worst of it, there's still some likability in there, man. Well, I get what. I guess I'm the I'm in the minority in this one because I don't see the appeal. I mean, I don't go out and watch a movie just because the rocks in it. I just, I guess I just don't see the appeal. Then I mean, Ed, uh, is are you going to try to convince me, or do you agree with that? Or I mean, I, I, I think I kind of agree with Eric. Like, there's movies that I'm just ne not necessarily a fan of. Like, I've, I've, I've dis I have a disdain for all the, the Fur Fast and Furious movies. I, I do, but he's not bad in them. I have a, I, you know, I loved Race for Witch Mountain, but that doesn't mean he was good at it. He just is who he is. 
Okay. You know, it's just he's he he's the same level of good, which is more tolerable than anything. Let's be realistic. In every movie and every acting job he's ever done, but it's just what's around him makes or breaks the movie. Like Central Intelligence, he's no different than he is in Jumanji. You know what I mean? Or he's no different different than he was in in the Tooth Fairy. That was just him. And I mean, he's come a long way since Scorpion King. I mean, but not that far. He's, you know, he's so found it's just his a, character. Yeah, that's exactly right. And his ah. his character, you have to understand. This is why the appeal is because he is the modern day superhero man. Like he is the one that people want to have be their hero. He's the person who, on a realistic level, no matter how obscure or ridiculous the movie is. This is a guy who is relatable. He's human. He dresses in everyday clothes. He's he's obviously tall and, and built, but at the same time, he's he's a friendly. He's 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 kind. He's got a gentle look about him too. People go people go to the movies to escape. Okay, they, they go to the movies to turn off whatever is going on on their outside. They're going to turn off. They're going to watch something mindless for like an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, and something mm-hmm. they don't have to think about. And when they see subconsciously. The issues going on in the movie, it worries them because these issues can be amongst any things, whether it be a relationship issue, whether it be world ending or anything like that. But still, it's the same because Dwayne The Rock Johnson's in this movie and they see this guy as a knight in shining armor. He is their hero. And mm-hmm. it's it's good. They're happy to see that there's this guy who's able to overcome all these obstacles and take with him the people who are in trouble. This is the, what the people are watching. They want a hero, but something that's, again, more real, something that's not wearing a cape and that's not part of a series. They, they want that small town rock guy who's going to come in and, and save save the day, man. And that's that's what he does. And that's why people like him so much, man. And that's it, probably it why works. they liked him in Walking Tall, right? I mean, because Walking Tall was that, you know, that small town guy who comes to save the day, right? It's just, he's going to, he's, you say that he is the modern day Arnold Schwarzenegger. I understand yeah. that. I will say that he is the modern day Tom Hanks because he is just a likable guy mm-hmm. and everything that he, he's like act Tom Hanks action version and everything that he does will just be seen. He's just positive. He is a role model, and it, it, it just works, man. I really hope, I really hope that his record stays clean as fuck. And when age, where muck raking and, and digging up dirt is so popular, that he's one of the ones that that stays as a positive role model. Really. All right. Well, um, Ed, do you have any last uh, any last words for The Rock? Well, I mean, I grew up as a huge wrestling fan. You know, and still to this day, like, when The Rock comes out unannounced on a pay-per-view, like, it's one of those, oh, my God, kind of moments, right? Yeah. But, but as an actor, you know, I, I, I can't I can't hate on the guy. Yeah. I mean, you really can't. He's not – I mean, I wouldn't – I don't necessarily disagree with you what you said about him being that secure character every time you go. I mean, I wouldn't say he's as good as Tom Hanks, but that's just me. I'm not meaning to, like, dis- be disagreeable. But like at the same time, I see your point. Like you go to the theater or you watch a movie and you you see him and you you, you know you're not going to be disappointed in his performance. He's not going to wow you, but he's not going to disappoint you. He's he's a better rest or better wrestler performer than he is an actor. But that's all that is. That's a performance. You know, he. It, it, I would say that I get more. You know, I think he's going to get better. I mean, you can sort of see a slight uptick in everything he's done, right? I mean, to go from the Scorpion King where he had no lines and looked awkward to his very next movie being Walking Tall is a, is a huge leap and bound to Ballers, to, to, you know, Moana where he's singing, right? Like, yeah, those are, those are, those are, you know, pretty, pretty things, decent things that nobody else like him has done in the sense that he's, you know, just your every day do five movies a year. But he's not like the old contract actors, you know, back, I'm talking 50, 60, 70 years ago, where they would do five, six, seven movies a year under contract. Like, he does it because he wants to do it. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have to do these things. So, you know, I give the dude props. The dude wants to work. He's working in what they'll give him. He probably doesn't ask for a whole lot of money. 
I'm not saying he doesn't get a lot of money. I'm just saying he doesn't ask more than what he's worth. You know, whatever his get is, it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, I, I agree with your statement that when you watch a movie with him in it or a TV show with him in it, you're not going to be disappointed. Okay. At least with him, at least with him. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we all knew that this wasn't going to be a long discussion. We are just filling in here for our rock series overall. Um, I can't say that I agree with Eric and Ed on what they have said because I'm just not a rock fan when it comes to movies. But it is fun, really, to see him work, and it is nice to have him there. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a comfortable friend, I guess I would say. Then, so, uh, but thank you guys so much for joining me on this discussion. You can check us out at movieguyspodcast.com, movieguyspodcast.podbean.com. Check us out on Facebook, Movie Guys Podcast. Also on Twitter at Movie Guys Pod. You can find us on. Uh, Spotify, search Movie Guys Podcast on iHeartRadio, Movie Guys Podcast, and also on iTunes, search Movie Guys Podcast. But next week, we will be kicking off part one of our terrible shark movie retrospective with Deep Blue Sea. I know all three of us. My fucking shark ate me. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But uh, week one would be uh, Deep Blue Sea, and week two will be Sharknado, a movie that I have never seen. So uh, you're in for a treat. Oh yeah, you're we'll, gonna like that one. We'll be talking about that, and then the end, our retrospective. It will be the new movie Meg, starring Jason Statham. So we will be bringing those out to you guys here very soon. But thank you so much for downloading us and listening to us, and we'll be back next week for another awesome episode. Have a good night, guys.